Sarah sat at her kitchen table, absently stirring her coffee. It was early, but she couldn't sleep. She had been having the same dream for weeks now. A man was coming towards her, his face hidden in the shadows. She couldn't see his features, but she knew he was going to kill her. Sarah shivered, despite the warm summer morning. She tried to tell herself it was just a dream, but she knew there was more to it. She had been having visions for years, always of death. But this was different. This man was coming for her. Sarah stood up abruptly, her chair scraping across the floor. She had to find out who this man was. She knew there was only one person who could help her. Sarah grabbed her purse and keys and headed out the door. Sarah arrived at her best friend Jane's house and knocked on the door. Jane answered, looking surprised. Sarah, what are you doing here so early? I need your help, Jane. I've been having this dream. I think it's a vision. There's a man coming for me and I don't know who he is. Jane frowned and opened the door wider, gesturing for Sarah to come inside. Come on, let's have a cup of tea and you can tell me all about it. Sarah related her dream to Jane, telling her every detail she could remember. Jane was quiet for a long time after Sarah had finished. It sounds like you're right, Sarah. This might be a vision. But I think there's someone who can help you. Have you ever heard of Dr. James? Sarah nodded. Yes, I've heard of him. He's a psychic, isn't he? That's right. And I think he might be able to help you with your vision. Why don't you give him a call and make an appointment? Sarah thanked Jane and said she would do just that. She made the call and was able to see Dr. James that afternoon. Dr. James was a kind man, and he listened carefully as Sarah related her story. He told her that he believed her vision was real, and that she was in danger. But don't worry, he said. I will help you. We will find out who this man is and why he's after you. Together, we will stop him. Sarah felt a little better after speaking with Dr. James. She was grateful to have someone who believed her and was willing to help. Sarah and Dr. James spent the next few weeks working together to try and figure out who the man in her vision was. They looked through old newspapers and spoke to people who knew Sarah, but no one could identify him. One day, Sarah had another vision. This time, she saw the man's face more clearly. She described him to Dr. James, who said he would do some more research. A few days later, Dr. James came to Sarah's house with a name, George Reynolds. He was a man with a long criminal history, and he had recently been released from prison. Sarah was terrified. She knew that George Reynolds was the man who was going to kill her. Dr. James told Sarah that they would go to the police together and make sure that George Reynolds was put back in prison where he couldn't hurt her. Sarah was relieved. With Dr. James's help, she knew she would be safe. Sarah and Dr. James went to the police station together and spoke to the desk officer. They explained what was happening and showed the officer George Reynolds's picture. The officer said they would bring George Reynolds in for questioning. A few days later, Sarah got a call from the police. They said that George Reynolds had been killed in a prison riot. Sarah was relieved that she would never have to worry about him again. Sarah was relieved that she would never have to worry about George Reynolds again. She was grateful to Dr. James for helping her and was glad that she had finally been able to put the whole ordeal behind her. Sarah and Dr. James continued to work together and helped many people who were in similar situations as Sarah. Sarah and Dr. James eventually got married and had two kids of their own. They continued to help people who were in difficult situations and were able to use their abilities to help others.